it's Ese. Um, today's topic is travel and have you had any problems with it? Um, there's lots of kinds of travel. There's buses, there's trains, and there's ships, none of which I have very much experience with. So I will talk about cars and planes because I have much more experience with those. Um, cars are pretty easy, um, especially if you're driving with a friend, um, a close friend. Um, sorry for the really crappy lighting, by the way. Uh, but yeah, if you're driving by yourself, pretty much the only issue is bathrooms at gas stations um, and whatever. I'm talking like driving far places, not just like commuting. Um, but yeah, however you normally deal with bathrooms, same goes for a gas station, in my opinion. Uh, and then there's planes. I'm really not a fan of airport security. Um, I mean, I'm glad it's there, but I feel like it's also an invasion of my privacy. I, I don't see the need for x-rays. Um, I don't know, I feel like... I know, I feel like American airport security is mostly a show. <laughs> um, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like mostly it's just a show and that it's not actually productive. They're, they're, they just have all these measures to look like they're keeping people safe. And I don't know that it actually does anything at all. Maybe it does. I don't, I, I, I'm not in airport security. I don't know if they've caught anybody or what, but, um, Stuff like not being allowed to take water through airport security. I mean, come on, seriously? Um, you can just buy water on the other side if you need it for something. Um, I, I don't understand that at all. Um, I know, have I had any trouble with it? Yes. Um, before I got my name changed legally, I was trying to get it through security, I was stopped by this lady who, who looked at my driver's license and said, this can't be your name, um, and she just really didn't believe it was my name because it's a very not masculine name at all. Um, and so I just kind of said, yes it is. I, I was kind of frightened, I was afraid something might happen, that I'd get pulled into a back room or whatever. But um, she just kind of said whatever and let me through. So I was pretty lucky with that. Um, yeah, that's the only real issue I've had. Um, I know there's all sorts of other possible issues like um, getting pat downs, those x-ray things. Not, not the ones you send your bags through, but the ones that people go through. The Ray Scan 1000 or whatever they're called. Those are frightening to me. I, I really don't want to be x-rayed like that. I don't see why that's necessary, particularly. Um, yeah, no, I really don't understand those at all. Why they're there. I. I I just, I, I don't like them at all. I'm going to stop talking about them now. Um, potential issue. I'm going abroad next semester and I will be taking large amounts of medication with me. This worries me because I will be rather heavily scrutinized because I have to take six months of three different medications with me, um, which is like one or two completely full bottles of pills of each me kind of medication. So, yeah, I'm gonna get scrutinized. I don't really know what to do about that. If you guys have any advice, that would be great. Please tell me something, cause, cause I'm considering wearing a skirt. I'm really not thrilled about the idea. Um, just so that everything matches up visually with everything on my ID card, um, on my passport. 
I, I really don't know how to deal with it. So if you have advice, please give me some advice. <laughs> um, I know I know I read in the thing we got sent out that um, if you are asked to be like patted down or whatever, you can request to have that done in private. Um, and you may or may not want to take that up if you do need to be patted down for something or other. And um, yeah, if you do want to have it done in private, if you have somebody else with you that you're taking the same flight on, um, someone you know, a companion is, I think, the term that was used in the paper. Um, they can, they're, you're allowed to take one person back there with you. Um, which is good. So that might, that's another option to consider. Um, and if anybody wants to get sent that information, it is mostly just like the new regulations, especially relating to trans folk and how it affects them and what you can possibly do about the new security measures. Um, mostly it's just informative, but yeah. Anyway, um, by the way, if anybody has advice about German security um, on planes or Austrian security on planes, please let me know because I will be going through those and I don't know anything about them. And Okay, so this is not technically part of the topic. But um, I've been subtitle captioning, not subtitling, captioning my videos recently, um, because there's there's people who are deaf out there. Some of them are trans. They would like to be able to understand our videos too. I just I really feel like it's just the polite thing to do. So I would really encourage everyone to subtitle their videos if at all possible. It takes a little bit of time, but. Um, I really think it's a worthwhile effort, like spread the love, spread the community around. I think it would be a really good thing. Um, I know Sheik is already doing that, at least on his personal channel. Um, so yeah, that was just my message of the day, I guess, something like that. Um, and I'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye.